Hello everyone, Darcy Bono here. In this video, we're going to be looking at painting a greenish swampy skin tone for the new Hobgrot Slitters from the new Age of Sigmar Dominion box set. Games Workshop was kind enough to send me a box and asked what unit I would like to paint. And I actually chose these little buggers because even though they're only a 25 millimeter base, they have so much spiteful character in them. I, I can't get over the amount of detail for, for something that's a chaff unit. It's it's astounding. So I chose this skin tone because I thought it was a swampier, kind of more cave look than the previous kind of orange warm box art. Uh, and the good news is that it takes about three paints. So let's get this show on the road. You're going to love how quick this is. All right, for step one, we are going to be making a base coat out of Citadel Iron Rack Skin. Uh, for those of you that are newer to painting, I usually thin this in about a two to one uh, ratio of paint to water. You basically just want it to flow off your brush and not be too thick when you put it on. Um, when you put it on, you're gonna see a little bit of the white or gray show through. This uh, model in particular was primed with Citadel Gray Sear. So when you put your base coats on, if you see the undertone showing through, you're doing it correctly because it usually takes about two coats for it to be fully opaque on your model. And that's actually what I'm going to do on this one, but I am going to speed up the process uh, for people that are more experienced and comfortable with base coating. So here we go. Just a heads up for when you go to paint the feet of these guys, I recommend not gluing them into their base. Uh, this will make it easier to remove them and paint around their ankles, as well as to get those little uh, tassels that are hanging down. Um, some of them have them on their back, so you can see them from the front between their legs. So it's a little bit hard to get to, but if you can take them out of the, the slotted base, that helps significantly. <laughs> And after two coats of the iron rack skin, this is what your mini should look like. It should be a nice, almost egg yolk color, kind of like a greenish egg yolk color. This is gonna set us up for the next step, which is using Griff Charger Gray Contrast. Now, what I usually do in this case is I will set up a paper plate and put a little dollop of contrast medium on that. That is basically your contrast thinner. That's gonna allow it to spread and dilute a little bit. We're not going to be diluting the Griff Charger Gray when we apply it initially. So watch, you'll, you'll see what I mean. We're just gonna take a good dollop of Griff Charger Gray. We're gonna smear it on his back and just kind of mop with it. Unlike um, other paints, if you uh, this one tends to pool quite a bit. This is almost more like a shade paint, uh, but with with greater um, coverage to it. So your job as the painter is to keep an eye on where it's pooling, and and for that reason, it's best to work in patches uh, with this paint. So you can watch it and make sure it's not getting overly um, saturated in the recesses. Otherwise, it'll make kind of an unrealistic um, line in your in your paint scheme. So keep an eye on it. Kind of look for uh, natural stopping points. Like for example, his where his um, belt and his little like necklace is. Um, but right away, you can start to see that nice green gray kind of mottled skin tone when you apply this paint. The reason we're keeping the contrast medium separate is for when we do the stomach or and for when we do the highlights but for now this griff charger gray that I'm putting on has not been diluted this is right out of the pot Now we are getting to the point where we're going to start doing a fade on his stomach. So you're gonna put a line of Griff Charger like you've been doing, undiluted, on his side of his torso, right under his armpit there. Now next what you're gonna do is just take, rinse your brush, take contrast medium, just the contrast medium, that's all I have in my brush right now, and wipe, kind of pull, 
the griff charger into the lighter portion of the stomach. This is going to really, really dilute it, but it's going to give it just enough color and shading into that lighter stomach to give it a, a bit more depth. So it'll pull just enough of that darker color into the recesses to tint the belly a little bit. And what you can do to highlight it, if you pull too much, for example, you can just wipe your brush off entirely and then just wipe the raised portions. So keep that darker shade in the recesses, but by uh, cleaning your brush and using the contrast me medium, that allows you to kind of pull the tint, the darker tint away from where you want the lighter portions to be. And we can also highlight this later in the next step with a little bit of dry brushing. But for now, this is going to set up our kind of our stomach transition to give you kind of a, an amphibious looking uh, stomach. And again, here you'll see an example of how you can use the contrast medium to dilute uh, a previously highly saturated area. So I put on a big thick glob of it on his shoulder there. You can see it's starting to pull a little bit. And right now I've just got contrast medium on my brush and I'm pulling it down out of those uh, highly saturated areas. And I'm actually pulling it down into the stomach in this case, because I know I'm gonna need a very, very, very light um, tint of it down there. So it's a very versatile technique to work with. If you oversaturate, use the medium to desaturate. And if you undersaturate, that's fine. You can just let, you just let it dry and do another coat. But um, again, keep an eye on those recesses. You can see me pulling out the recess, uh, the saturated recesses right here. So that is about what the skin tone should look like. And once the Griff Charger Gray has dried, it should look something like this. Now this is the basics of this color scheme. If this looks good enough to you, feel free to stop here. Uh, for this next portion of the video, we're gonna be adding just a bit more definition uh, to his torso area. We're gonna let kind of these muscles um, along the sides here pop a bit more and adding a little bit more color to the face. For this next step, we are going to be using a small makeup brush and Citadel Krieg Khaki to dry brush on a thin gradient onto the stomach portions. Now this is an ELF concealer brush. It's about the size of a pinky nail, so it's very small and it'll help us cover this uh, small portion of the uh, torso right here. So there's not much to it. It is just dry brushing, so make sure to get most of the paint off your brush like I did, and then you just lightly blot it on to the torso like this. There's really, I'm not doing anything in particular, not really mashing it on there. It's it's just a light dusting. And you can see it adds a little bit more color, a little more intensity to the torso section. So that'll contrast a bit more with the bluish grayish portions of the skin. I'm also going to focus on applying it to this cheek here in order to provide a bit more color variation as well as focus to the face. For this final highlight, I'm going to be mixing Cree Khaki with a, just a speck of Wraith Bone to lighten it just a little bit, just enough to provide a final highlight, and we're going to be applying this to the cheeks as they are the most raised portions on the model, and I'm also going to apply this to the most textured parts of the torso. You'll see it start to tra um, trap here on the most raised portions of the muscles, and that provides quite a bit more definition uh, than what we started with. And with that final highlight, the skin tone for this little guy is completed. Now he's got quite a bit of detail left and there will be video tutorials on his armor, his scars and his veins, as well as his poison blades. So definitely check those out once I've made them. And thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. Until we meet again, happy painting everyone.